With your boy David off so Arsenal's transfer window was actually pretty good like better than I thought it would be which is uh, positive by most signings I'm pretty convinced that they can do well except David Luiz um, I don't want to be the hating guy I'm not I'm not that guy but um, I'm not convinced that David Luiz is the answer to our defense um, Tierney is at fullback yeah sure he's, he's a good signing but David Luiz incentive I don't know if that improves us down the middle but it's just like bizarre to me that David Luiz plays for Arsenal now and we got him for 8 million. But it's a centre back, so you know, better than Mustafi. Look, I don't like the thing with Mustafi, right? He's either on or off, if you know what I mean. Like when he first came to Arsenal, his first few months, he was good. Like he was solid. He was one of our best defenders. And then there's another period, I think it was like, um, what was the season that we beat Spurs 2 0 at home? Was that. The, the season before last, I think. That season, the first half, he was immense as well. And then the rest of his career was just terrible at Arsenal. I just... Does this guy turn himself on and off? Because he's like... There's been a couple periods where he's been really good consistently. And every other time, he's been absolutely terrible. There's no in-between. Salah was a good signing. Um, we loaned him back out, though. Which is a little bit annoying, but it's part of the deal, I guess. We needed to do that to um, get him to agree, I guess. I don't know, but um, still, um, I'm looking forward to seeing him playing for us next season. I think he'll improve our defence. Um, but yeah, Tierney's a good signing at left back. He's a good signing, that's for sure. Um, he's had some injury history apparently, but hopefully, um, I mean, a lot of Arsenal players do, so he kind of fits in. Um, but hopefully, um, he's not hit by injuries too much. I hope, I hope not anyway. Up front, we signed Martinelli, um, who is who looked promising in pre-season, to be fair. I don't know much about him. But I assume he takes up Welbeck's role, basically, as being a backup to Lacazette and Bamiyang, which I can take. I honestly thought Nketiah would take that role this year, to be fair. Um, but we've learned him out now, which is good. Hopefully he proves himself. There's been a lot of occasions where we've learned out players who look promising. We never gave him the chance and we just sold them eventually. Um, and I'm worried it might happen with, with Nketiah as well. A recent example, I guess, is Bielik, Christian Bielik. Um, we learned him out a few times, then... We never really gave him a good chance. Then we just sold him off this summer, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, I guess, like, I'm not a manager, so I guess coaches see something that we don't. But I see so many Arsenal players, like, just, like, get loaned out and they just never come back. Caballos at centre mid. He's on loan. He's a good player. Um, hopefully he contributes a lot. We need someone like him to contribute because Ramsey's gone now, obviously. Um, hopefully he fills in that gap for a year. I don't think he's staying past the year, um, based on what I've heard. Um, but hopefully in his year here, he actually does well. Maybe helps us get top four. Maybe. Maybe. I hope we get top four. I'm still not confident about it because I still think we're weak in centre-back. But we'll see. We'll see how we are when we actually play. Alright, so the big one. Pepe. Happy with that signing. We needed, like, the worst places in our, in our squad was centre-back and out wide. We had a serious winger problem last year, especially going forwards. So the signing of Pepe is, I think, is a big statement, and I think it fills in a gap that we needed to fill in. That's for sure. That's for sh that's for sure. I can't say words properly. That's for sure. Um, and Nelson coming back as well. That's a good thing. Obviously, he's not a new signing. We had him already, but um, we loaned him out last year. He's a winger. We lacked wingers last season. We kind of missed him in a way. We he kind of could have been a good season for him, um, but now he's back. And he offers another he offers another option up in in uh, in the wide position, so that's good for us. It's going to feel like an addition, even though it's not a signing. We sold Iwobi, which I'm surprised by, to be honest. Um, I have mixed feelings on it. Um, I don't think it's bad money, um, but I kind of like I wouldn't mind him staying. That's for sure. It's kind of weird to me that he's staying and Mkhitaryan. I mean, it's kind of funny that Mkhitaryan's staying and he was the one that's gone. I wish him luck with his career. And obviously Koscielny's gone. Um, the way he left is a bit is a bit bitter. Um, I don't know why. I was surprised when I heard like he was refusing to play. Um, did not expect that from him of all people. But uh, I guess uh, I guess that's just what he, he just really wants to leave I guess. Um, and he's gone now. So only, only a few million but we'll definitely take it. Some money back that's for sure. Um, Jenkinson's gone now obviously. Um, 
he's an Arsenal fan who got to live his dream at Arsenal, so I can't really hate him for it. Um, but he was taking up some wages, so that frees him up, and it's a win-win, I think, because Jenkinson gets to go and play somewhere else, and he might actually get to play quite regularly. So uh, hopefully it's a good move for him. Hopefully he uh, has a good career. And finally, um, Ospina has gone, Lichstein has gone, and a few others on a free as well. Not to bother about talking about those. Um, but overall, I'm happy, and apparently we might still get rid of Mustafi and El Nenny. I heard, which I'll definitely take. Um, I don't know if that's definitely happening, but windows and other places are not closing till September. Like, so first week, I think, first couple of days. So I'm looking forward to seeing whether we uh, actually uh, sell anyone else. But apart from that, in terms of like, who we brought in, I'm happy. I think when Bellerin comes back, we'll have a good defensive fullback, but down the middle, I'm not too sure. But we'll see what happens. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.